welcome you all this is the first session of vapor compression repression system the vc system basically consists of four component first one is compressor next one is condenser throttler and evaporator so basically there are four component compressor condenser throttler and evaporator the refrigerant enters into compressor where isentropic compression takes place during this compression the temperature and pressure of refrigerant increases and this compressed refrigerant enters into condenser in condenser constant pressure heat rejection takes place since this heat is, reje is rejected from from condenser therefore this cooled refrigerant now enters into throttler in throttler enthalpy of refrigerant remains constant because we know that in throttling process there are no change in enthalpy therefore the enthalpy of the refrigerant remains constant but this quality it change at the exit of throttler this wet refrigerant enters into evaporator in evaporator this constant pressure heat addition takes takes place and after receiving heat from the storage space this refrigerant converts into either having better quality or saturated liquid refrigerant or superheated that this this depends upon condition so finally what we observe here this refrigerant first of all refrigerant enters into compression where isentropic compression takes place this compressed refrigerant enters into condenser where constant pressure heat rejection takes place this cooled refrigerant now enters into throttler where isenthalpic expansion takes place and this expanded refrigerant enters into evaporator where constant pressure heat addition takes place so this is the schematic diagram of vc cycle and this cycle repeats again and again this process can be shown on this ts plot on ts plot the process 1 to 2 is isentropic compression process this one is the entry point of compression this saturated liquid refrigerant enters into compression where isentropic compression takes place at an exit of compressor this refrigerant converts into superheated state the superheated refrigerant enters into now condenser where constant pressure heat rejection takes place after rejecting heat this refrigerant converts into saturated liquid now the saturated liquid refrigerant enters into throttler where isenthalpic expansion takes place in this process enthalpy remains constant that is s3 is equal to h4 and during this process this the wet refrigerant which in a, which is a, at an exit of the throttler enters into evaporator in evaporator this constant pressure heat addition is taken place and finally it reaches to point 1 where it converts into saturated vapor so this is all about the the process which has been seen on ts plot next this uh, process can be seen uh, on ph plot also on x axis enthalpy is shown and y axis this pressure is shown so oh, this process 1 to 2 is isotropic compression process 2 to 3 is constant pressure heat, heat rejection process which is taken place in condenser 3 to 4 is the isenthalpic is expansion process which is taken place in throttler and 4 to 1 is constant pressure heat addition process which is taken place in evaporator right 
all four process has been explained here 1 to 2 1 to 2 is isenthalpic compression 2 to 3 is isobaric rejection 3 to 4 is isenthalpic expansion this is in throttler and 4 to 1 is isobaric heat absorption which is taken place in evaporator next term is cup of vc cycle this cup is very important term so cup we know that cup is the ratio of reversion effect and work input and we know that this re re is equal to this in reversion this repetition effect is taken place inside the evaporator so this repetition effect is equal to h1 minus h4 this re h1 minus h4 and work input work input is equal to h2 minus h4 because we know that compressor is work input device and compressor is installed between 1 and 2 therefore this work input is equal to h2 minus h1 this is h2 minus h1 so this cup is equal to h1 minus h4 by h2 minus h1 and we know that one more thing is there this process 3 to 4 is isenth isenthalpic expansion process therefore s3 is equal to h4 so this h4 can be written s3 because this process enthalpy remains constant so this cup is can be written this h1 minus s3 by h2 minus h1 this is the cup of vc system right now one very important question rises here as you know that in reverse coordinate reference system throt throttler instead of throttler isentropic expander was used but in vc system this expander is replaced by throttler very important question why this expander is replaced by throttler because we know that this expander basically expander main function main use of expander is basically we get some work some work output because if expander is used and if you get some work output in that condition what we will observe we will observe that net work output will decrease because compressor is work input device and if you get some work output from expander in this condition this work output will decrease right so this is the basic concept of using the expander but in this condition suppose that this this throttler is replaced by expander then just to just we just uh, we'll discuss why this expander is not so helpful we know that this uh, expander is uh, open system and this open system work done is equal to minus ptp and at an entry of expander this uh, represent is in liquid state and this in liquid state this represent a specific volume of represent is very less since value is quite less therefore we will not get some more work output understand this is very important since the the specific volume of a specific volume of liquid represent because this represent when enters into expander it is in liquid state and we know that this uh, specific volume of liquid represent is quite less so therefore we won't get sufficient work output if we want to get sufficient work output that means there is no effect on overall work because if you get if you would have get some more work output in that condition this work net work output will be less net work input will be less but in this condition what will you observe this is a specific volume of liquid represent is very less therefore we will not get some more work output and at the same time expander is costly so since the expander is a costly device and its uh, maintenance is more so it is not more beneficial because we don't get enough work therefore in this condition this uh, enthalp this uh, throttler is used instead of isenthalpic expander as it is written here in short the isentropic expansion zone the specific volume of saturated liquid is very less 
so the, the flow work will be quite less and hence the cost of expander is more in comparison of output work output obtained in throttling process so therefore in this condition this flat one important observation since this uh, specific volume of liquid represented quite less so if you use the expander in this condition we will not get sufficient work output and uh, therefore this uh, this is not quite beneficial because the ex expander is costly device it uh, requires more maintenance overall that's why this ex isenthalpic expander is replaced by throttler right in next discussion just uh, we'll discuss what are different factors which affects the cup of vc system what are the what are the different factors the effect for effect of variation of properties in the performance of performance of vc system right what are the different factors which which affects the property of uh, cup of vc system okay so first of all we we'll discuss the evaporation pressure in this condition if we decrease the evaporation pressure this is the first condition in this condition what we do, uh, what what we are doing here we are do, doing here we, we decrease the evaporation pressure so if evaporation pressure is decreased just we need just look at here evaporation pressure is decreased in this condition what we observe that this this is the process four to one is taken place in evaporator if this this pressure is decreased let us suppose this is four dash and this is one dash the pressure is decreased in this condition what we observe in this condition we observe that this repression effect decreases why because in normal condition this re is h1 minus h4 if this pressure is decreased in this condition this uh, this will be h1 h1 dash minus h4 dash so if this evaporator pressure is decreased repression effect also decreased this is the first important point it can be seen in on ts plot also this evaporator pressure this this pressure is decreased okay so this if this pressure decrease in this case this in this case this re will equal to h1 dash minus h4 dash in normal condition this h1 minus h4 in this h1 minus h4 so if the evaporation pressure is decreased what we observe the repression effect also decreases well and at the same time this work input also increases because in this condition now this isotropic compression is taking place in compressor so this is process 1 dash to 2 dash this is our modified cycle modified cycle when this evaporation pressure is decreased so in this condition work work on work in input also increases why because h2 dash minus h1 dash is greater than h2 h2 minus h1 therefore if evaporation pressure is decreased <coughs> in this condition the cup we know that cup is the ratio of represent effect and work input in this condition represent re decreases and work input increases so the cup will decrease right so if you decrease the evaporation pressure the cup will decrease now if you see the the formula of this volumetric efficiency this is volumetric efficiency of compressor is equal to 1 plus c minus c into p2 by p1 raised to 1 by n where p1 is the evaporator pressure and p2 is the condenser pressure if evaporator pressure is decreased in this condition this term will increase and this is due to this minus sign what we will observe the volumetric efficiency will decrease so at this therefore if the evaporative pressure is decreased volumetric efficiency also decreases cop will decrease and vol volumetric efficiency also decreases right so it is very important thing that the evaporative pressure should not be quite low if evaporative pressure will decrease up to certain extent in that condition this coefficient of performance will decrease and volumetric efficiency of compressor will also decreases because we have <coughs> explained in this diagram so evaporative pressure should be close to atmospheric pressure okay 
a vapor pressure should be close to atmospheric pressure. Next parameter is if you increase the condenser pressure. In this condition, just we are increasing the condenser pressure. If condenser pressure is increased, in previous case what we have done? We have decreased the evaporator pressure. In this condition, we are in increasing the condenser pressure. If condenser pressure is increased, in this condition, this, this, will, this line will be extended because we have to increase the pressure of this condition. So now in this condition, the cycle will be 1, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. 1, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash. We have not altered to the evaporator pressure, right? In, in this condition, what will you observe? In this condition, this once again RE will decrease and this work input also increases. So overall, COP will decrease. In this condition also, the COP will decrease and this pressure ratio will increase because this P2 the, the, the condenser pressure is increased therefore this pressure ratio will increase so overall in the once again in this condition this uh, volumetric efficiency will decrease so this is not desirable so condenser pressure should not kept more high okay its value should not keep quite more okay so its value should be moderate Condenser pressure should be in moderate range. Right? Next condition is superheating. Superheating means what is the meaning of, meaning of this superheating? Superheating in this condition, as we know that in evaporator, what we have discussed in the earlier uh, slide, in evaporator at an exit of evaporator we are getting saturated vapor refrigerant. But in this case, superheating this uh, refrigerant is slightly superheated inside the evaporator in this condition the refrigerant is slightly superheated inside the evaporator so instead of one now this one dash is the output of evaporator or in other words one dash will be input of the compressor so in this condition this uh, evaporation process this h h and h for the entry point of evaporation process and h1 dash is the exit point of evaporation process right so in this condition what we will observe the refraction effect will increase because h1 dash minus h4 is greater than h1 minus h4 so in this condition what we observed here the refraction effect will increase and at the same time the work input work input will be h2 dash minus h1 dash instead of h2 minus h1 in this condition h2 dash minus h1 h1 dash so just we have to understand what is the effect on effect on this work input because re will increase because it is clear it is it is crystal clear in this uh, in this diagram h1 dash minus h4 is greater than h1 minus h4 so re increases undoubtedly now what is what about the work input we know that work input this is the open system compressor is the open system and open system this we know this is the exam and this is the work this is the formula of work input this is gamma times p1 p1 minus p2 p2 by gamma minus 1 if take p1 p1 common this is 1 minus this is gamma by gamma minus 1 this is constant this is, the, this is kept outside and just uh, this p1 p1 is just to take outside this 1 minus p2 p2 by p1 p1 you know that p2 p2 is equal to rt2 and p1 p1 is equal to rt1 so therefore this is equal to gamma by gamma minus 1 to add this p1 b1 rt1 1 minus t2 by t1 right so in this equation this t2 by t1 can be replaced by in terms of pressure because possibly because the process 1 to 2 is isentropic process therefore t2 by t1 is equal to p2 by p1 into gamma minus 1 by gamma so gamma by gamma minus 1 into rt1 into 1 minus p2 by p1 power by gamma minus 1 by gamma in this condition what we observe in this condition this term is constant gamma by gamma minus 1 R is constant. This pressure, there is no alteration in pressure. In that is evaporative pressure and condenser pressure. So in this condition, there is no change in pressure. So overall, what we observe here, the work input is function of T1. Okay, this work input is a function of T1. And what is T1? T1 is the inlet temperature of compressor. Or what is? T and we can say that this T1 is the outlet temperature of evaporator. 
right so if you increase the temperature outlet temperature of evaporator in that case the work input will increase since this is a case of since since this is the case of superheating in this condition this outlet temperature of evaporator is more therefore work input will increase okay because work input is a only function of inlet temperature of compressor and during superheating inlet temperature of compressor will increase therefore work input will increase so in this condition what we will observe that cup we know that cup is the ratio of refraction effect to the work input we know this equation cup is the ratio of look at this one cup is the ratio of work input a refraction effect to the work input in this condition work is refraction effect incre increases work input also increases so it is very difficult to say whether cup will increase or decrease because both value are increasing so in this condition the cup will completely depend on types of refrigerant that means which types of refrigerant is being used in cycle for r12 refrigerant so in this condition cup may increase or decrease that depends upon the refrigerant because in this case of superheating this complete depends upon the types of refrigerant because in this condition we are saying that both re and work input increases so by simply observing this equation we cannot predict whether this value increase or decreases therefore in this condition this will depends on this value uh, may increase or decrease and this will depend upon type of refrigerant that is for for example at for r12 refrigerant the superheating will result in increase in cup and for ammonia refrigerant superheating would result in a decrease in of cup that means if r12 refrigerant is used in that condition the cup will increase and if uh, ammonia refrigerant is used in this condition the cup will decrease right so overall there are three important factors which affects the cup of bc system that is evaporative pressure condenser pressure and superheating that means and finally we have concluded what we have concluded evaporative pressure should be close to atmosphere condenser pressure should be moderate and superheating results in either increase or decrease the cup that will depend upon types of refrigerant for r12 refrigerant superheating will in increase the cup and for ammonia refrigerant superheating will decrease the cup right now one important term is why this flash chamber is used in vc system this is a very important question which has been asked several times in examination especially in interviews why this flash chamber is used this flash chamber because we know that at an exit of this throttler this condition of refrigerant is in wet wet region but that is in while the refrigerant enters into throttler it is in liquid liquid phase and after expansion in, in throttler this converts into mixture of liquid and vapor this is this converts into wet zone enters into wet zone and this since in evaporation process there is no more role of this vapor part of refrigerant only liquid part is responsible to absorb the heat from the storage space therefore in this condition this flash chamber is installed before the evaporator so that this vapor part of refrigerant could be separated okay so at an exit of this throttler this refrigerant is a mixture of liquid and vapor and this flash chamber this separate the vapor part of refrigerant from this mixture and only liquid parts of refrigerant enters in, inside the evaporator so that maximum amount of heat could be withdrawn from storage space therefore this flash chamber is mainly used to separate the vapor part of refrigerant 
from the mixture of liquid and vapor part liquid and vapor this is the mixture of liquid and vapor of refrigerant so that only liquid parts could enter inside the evaporator in order to suck the maximum amount of heat from the storage space and this vapor part is of refrigerant enters into this is mixed in the compression right so this is the use of flash chamber thank you we will meet in the next session